Sarah from the Assistive Technology Lab at Craig Hospital. Today, I'm going to show you the sequence for how to use Hey Siri and voice control on an iPhone or an iPad. The first thing to do is go to your settings and find the tab that says Siri and search. The very first toggle will say listen for Hey Siri. I'm going to toggle that on and it'll bring up a menu that says set up Hey Siri. When I click continue, it's going to give me five different phrases to say in my natural voice. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. I'm gonna click done. And now on this iPad, Siri is trained to my voice. If I toggle the third button, which says, allow Siri when locked, I can use my voice even when the screen is off. For instance, my iPad is still on, it's just sleeping. This is called a dark screen. Hey Siri, uh -huh. what time is it? It's 16.37. Functions I can use the Hey Siri command for include simple questions like what time is it or what's the weather? Or if using my iPhone, I could say something like, Hey Siri, call John on speaker. This would place a phone call to my friend John and activate speakerphone so I could do the entire process hands-free. Using the Siri command is great if you also have use of your hands, but if you'd like to do everything with your voice, you can add a feature called voice control. The easiest way to activate voice control is to use Siri. Hey Siri, turn on voice control. Okay, I turn voice control on. When voice control is on, there's a small circle that will appear in the upper right hand corner. The circle is grayed out right now, but it's a picture of a microphone with a line through it. That tells me that voice control is on, but it's sleeping. The command to wake up voice control is just that. Wake up. Now my circle is blue. That tells me that voice control is listening. You can search for a list of commands that can be used with voice control, but they're fairly intuitive. Go home, swipe left, would be the same as my hand swiping on the page. I can swipe in either direction. I can also swipe up or down simply by saying that command. If I wanted to tap on one of my apps, I can ask everything on the screen to receive a number. So if I wanted to tap on my weather app, I would say show numbers. My app got assigned a number one. One, calling out that number was the same as tapping on that app. At this point, if I get a pop-up, I can do the same thing. Show numbers, four. By using a combination of Siri and voice control, I can navigate almost anywhere in any app on my iPad. The exact same system can be used on an iPhone. On this iPad, I've opened my news brief. I can see by my gray circle that voice control is sleeping, so I'll give it the command. Wake up. Now that my circle is blue, I know that voice control is working. As you can see, I have the numbers already listed on my page. There's a feature called Show Numbers Continuously, which will leave the number superimposed no matter what page I go to. Any place that I want to type, I can use voice control to help me type. Once I get my web browser open, I'm gonna use my numbers to click on the small microphone in the search box. This is where I would normally type in the name of the website or topic that I wanna search for. Four. Craig Hospital, 13. It has now opened the search page just like I tapped it in. 31 will then take me to my page. If I wanna tap on something on the screen that's not assigned a number, I can use the grid feature. For instance, I'm gonna tap on this icon so that my web page is the whole screen. Show grid. My screen has been divided into 12 boxes. I'm gonna call out the number that my icon is in and you'll watch it decrease each time I call out a number. One, one, 
five. Tap five. That allowed me to click on that small icon even though it didn't receive a number. I can use that grid feature if I have a very small item I want to tap on, or if the number flags are layered in such a way that I can't see exactly which one I need. I can get rid of the numbers and use the grid feature. If you're an Apple user, phone or iPad, I hope you'll be able to try the Siri command as well as voice control. Please be aware it does use some of your battery, so make sure that you're starting the day off with a full battery if you're phone dependent. I also hope you have a chance to check out our website with the assistive technology page on craighospital.org.